mobile home cabin. <laughs> well, it all started with one day that somebody came on our property. In fact, more than one, it's been quite a few people. They've come onto my property and they said, wow, this reminds me of a mountain getaway. And they said how it's so peaceful. And it all started with that. My husband has always wanted a mountain cabin ever since he was a little boy. And while with the price of real estate these days, a mountain cabin is something that's not quite in our future, not now anyhow. So I said to Kenny, my husband, I said, you know what? Why don't we make this into our own little cabin? And he thought about it for a while and he said, you know what, you're right. So I am a big advocate for somebody to create their home, the environment that they want it to be. Now with the mobile home, it's perfect, a mobile home cabin. But why else is it? 70% of our mobile home is made by wood. We have the real wood paneling. See, the mobile homes that are built in today's standards, they don't have the real wood paneling and real wood floors like ours does. Built in 1963, it was built solid and strong. And recently we had extensive work done to it and it was such a surprise to see how much wood and how much sturdy, strong, thick wood was used for our home. See, mobile home cabin is a term. It's a type of feeling that I want you to feel when you see our property. I want you to think it's like the olden days. Now, of course, for years, my property was really like the olden days, but I still have that old fashioned appeal and look and love. I love the old fashioned way of living. Unfortunately, in today's standards, certain things have to be done. If you know what I mean, you can't quite live like the pioneer days, at least not in some places. I'm sure if I lived real rural, somewhere in Alabama or somewhere far away, I'm sure maybe I would be able to do some of the things that I used to do. But living in a community, living in a neighborhood, living in the modern world, <laughs> there's some things that have to be done. And with our mobile home, of course, that had to be done in order to maintain it. So I'm going to show you different video clips of my home to give you that feeling. So if I would say I had a Victorian mobile home, that would be really hard for me to do because I don't really have the Victorian type of look. Americana, you know, all those things, cabin, primitive, all of those things, I can really do that look because of the old style of my mobile home. So yes, it is a mobile home cabin. A lot of times people will say it's either you, this way or this way. And there's no room for imagination. There's no room for just creating your life. Do Valley. I live in a valley and it's do. Do Valley is something I came up with. Is it actual term for where I live? No, but I live in a valley. I live in a really good valley because we have a lot of high ridge mountains on the other side of us and I live in Dew. And the reason why the road was named, named Dew was from the history, because I really read about the history of the area that I live in, because how the Dew settles in this valley. Dew Valley, mountain cabin, mobile home mountain cabin, mobile home cabin, absolutely wonderful. Wonderful to take what you love and mash it all up and create the life you want to live. Because let me tell you what, what you speak out of your mouth and what you are investing your time and your energy, it will come back to you 180% fold. So if you invest your time and energy into positivity and to creating the life that you want to live, that will come back to you 180%. It will. And you know, it doesn't take a lot of money. 90% of the things that we did here in the homestead didn't take much money. Yes, we had some huge projects. Some had to be done, some didn't have to be done. But the little things that I do, like creating my little house in the prairie bedroom and creating what I want and love, that's what I want to inspire you about. I want to inspire you that no matter where you live, 
and I say this story all the time, one of the biggest homesteaders, the most impressionable homesteader that I have ever met, she lived in the city limits in a little 900 square foot house and she turned that into a tiny little homestead. To this day, that has been the most inspirational thing I have ever seen. So it's not about your circumstance and where you're at right now. It's not your circumstance where you're at right now. It's what can you do with that? You know, I've had a lot of people come and tell me, you know, physically they can't do some of the things, but physically there's some things they can do. Find the things that you can do. And I remember back when I was first married, you know, I didn't have any money for a beautiful garden like I do now, but I would go out and pick wildflowers or pick weeds. I mean, I even picked weeds and I made little bouquets with that, with my children. I remember those with fond memories, fond memories of doing that. And so create the home that you want and take the things that you have, clean your house and organize and you'll find so much stuff that you didn't realize you had and just do what you want. My mother-in-law said many years ago, she said she was never good at redecorating or decorating her house. She said she lacked that ability. She said she don't know if she would decorate. She said what people would think. And I told her back then, and I would tell her now if she still was here on this earth, I would tell her it doesn't matter what people think. <laughs> if you want to decorate something and you like it and the way it looks to you, that's what you do. You know, mobile home cabin may not be for everyone, especially people that have no imagination or no sense of adventure. But I kind of live a storybook life because I created that storybook life. If we would read a book and it would be drab and boring, nobody would read it. So create your own storybook life. <laughs> Mine just happens to be a mobile home cabin.